Well, it's going to be another sparkling night at the zoo. You love this stuff out there. It's <laughs> to get you in the spirit for sure. It's the annual PNC Festival yes, of Lights. And I keep saying, I'm going to go this year. I'm going to make it out there despite the cold. But you know what? Not every creature loves the lights, maybe <laughs> as much as we do. WLWT News host John London is live for us tonight with a look at an unusual problem for the Cincinnati Zoo. Hi, John. Yeah, that problem, Cherie, is that uh, they're furry. They're part of the rodent family, and like these beautiful lights that give such glowing enjoyment to 250,000 visitors every season, they're multiplying. Here's a couple of the culprits now, looking as innocent as daylight. But the words sneaky and squirrel start with the same letter for a reason. Just ask the folks responsible for Bear Hill. And this is by far the number one spot for squirrels. Um, we've, had, we've had many a night uh, where it's completely dark. You call this crime scene number one? It's, it's definitely, I, you know, I'm not sure why certain areas are targeted. One year we actually lost 300 strands, and most of that was on Bear Hill. Like puppies with a chew toy, squirrels gnaw at the light strands, indifferent to the whole point of the PNC Festival of Lights, illumination. Most of the more than 2 million lights workers string from August to this afternoon are LED, but back in the day of incandescent bulbs, squirrels would unscrew them displaying more dexterity than given credit for, mistaking them for nuts to store in winter. It's so bad, zoo luminaries took to spreading hot sauce on the strands as a deterrent. They even upped the heat, jalapeno style. They kind of laughed at it. <laughs> you know, it, it didn't really do much. I think we felt good about it, but, but it, it didn't do much. We noticed how the tulip beds are covered with netting. Five to ten years ago, that wasn't necessary. You can thank the bushy-tailed zoo residents who nest right above you. It's a challenge. Who's yeah. smarter, the squirrel or the horticulturist? So, Give me the answer to that. Well, I think the squirrel's winning <laughs> right now. <laughs> if you strung each strand end to end, it would stretch to Tennessee, but think how many squirrels across that 240 miles. If you run into a dark spot during this season's visit, squirrels might have hit it. And zoo staff has waited till the very last minute this afternoon to string lights along Bear Hill, hoping that most of the squirrels out here have finished foraging for their nuts by now. Reporting live at the Cincinnati Zoo, John London, WLWT News 5. All right, John London live. Thank you. The problem got so bad, the zoo actually gave up on certain spots and just put up lighted figures in places, uh, in place of the strands instead, sort of a surrender to the squirrels, if you will.